Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to show you how to um, add a kind of cool little special effect um, with the depth of field uh, for our inspection system. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do first is go to our first person character and open up his blueprint. All right now, before we do anything, we're going to take this trace value here, or this this value, um, this float that we're using to multiply our forward vector by, and we're going to promote it to a variable because this will come in handy later. So I'm going to call it trace length and of course spelled it horrendously so let me just fix that <laughs> fix that okay trace length perfect okay and okay so we have our trace length next what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way towards the end here and we're going to add um, some you know our post processing effects that will add that depth of field that I was talking about so what we'll do is we'll take our first person camera we'll drag him out and we're going to drag out and say set post uh, processing settings oops not get we want to set set post processing settings there we go so we'll plug this in okay great now what we need to do is we need to drag off of this post processing settings and we need to say make post processing settings all right so now with this uh, selected we're going to go into the pin options here we're going to scroll all the way down until we find uh, where is it depth of field okay so this one so the pins that we need to expose that we can, so we can edit are going to be the method, uh, the focal distance, the focal region, and um, our scale, and I guess one more, uh, the max bokeh size. Okay. So um, the depth of field that we're going to be using is, of course, bokeh. Um, so yeah. So the other options you have are Gaussian and circle, but we're going to be using bokeh. Okay. Now for these other values, what we're going to do. Um, is we're going to use our alpha to kind of linearly interpolate between um, some different values to give it kind of a smooth um, fade in from, you know, going from no depth of field to full depth of field, okay? So what we'll do is we'll take this alpha and say lerp, and we're going to do a lerp, and then we don't want it to be in the A, so we're going to hold control and just drag it down to alpha, okay? So perfect. Um, then we'll go ahead and duplicate this um, because we're going to use it again, and I'll add a pin um, by double-clicking the line there, and then plug that into the alpha. That way, we don't have to keep drawing, drawing lines all over the place. All right. So now we have these two values. All right. So what are we going to use them for? Well, um, we're going to plug this lerp into the focal region, and we're going to plug this lerp into our max focus size. Okay. So for our max focus size, we're going to have it start at zero and go to about five. Okay, now what this value does is it's kind of the, um, it's the amount of, um, I guess, depth of field kind of disruption in the background. Um, so as you increase it, uh, it, you know, adds a lot more, um, I guess, disruption. I don't really know how to describe it, I guess, but um, you can play around with the values to see for yourself. All right, now for the scale, we're going to change this to a value of one because by default, um, it's set to zero, which is no bokeh. Um, so you have to set it to one, otherwise the effect won't kick in. Okay. Now for the focal distance, we're going to set this uh, this to something like I don't know ten, right? Something really small. Um, it just can't be a thousand because uh, if it's a thousand, then it's going to start really far away um, from our character, and it won't be um, like we won't have any focus right in front of our camera. Okay. So by doing a focal distance of ten, we're telling it to start being in focus. 10 units in front of um, our camera. That way it will keep you know, our character's arms and the gun all in focus and it will keep the inspection object in focus. All right. Next for the focal region, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have it start, um, I guess, kind of far out. Or excuse me, we're not going to have it start far out. We're going to have it start um, as far as our tra trace length is. Okay. So um, we'll just take that value, that variable there, plug it in. All right, now for the B, we're going to tell it to move. Um, let's see. So if we look at our inspection ob location, you'll see that it is 100 at um, a value of 110. Okay. So um, if we factor in the 20 units behind that our camera is, you'll see that the full distance is 130. So to be safe, right, so that we don't kind of um, have any weird uh, fo focus issues. Um, on our inspection object itself, we'll set it to about 150. Okay. 
So that will give it 20 units on the other side of the object, you know, to be in focus. Um, so the back of the object really won't matter too much then because, you know, you'll never see it. So if it isn't out of focus, then it won't matter too much. But this will just give us a little bit of a cushion. Okay, so we're going to go, like I said, from trace length to B. And um, everything else should be set like this. All right. Now the last thing we need to do is on finished, we need to go down and we need to add a branch. Okay. So with this branch, we're going to check if we are inspecting or not. Okay, and if we uh, aren't inspecting anymore, right? So we've reversed the effects. Once everything is finished, right? We want to re kind of reset our po post processing effects. So we'll take this little bit right here, copy it, paste it down here, plug it into false, and then we'll just leave it like that. Okay, because we're resetting the post processing. Now, if you have um, any kind of post processing of processing effects already, you know, set up on your camera, what you uh, might want to do is um, you know save those out before like or yeah beforehand so like in the construction script right you could uh, you could basically take your first person camera right get his post processing settings and then promote that to a variable right and then and then use that later on right you yeah you'd use that variable down here to you know reset it uh, but you no know, obviously we're not doing that so all right, so that's everything. It should work now. So if we go ahead and, ahead and press play, right, we go up to our object and we hit E and inspect. You see it zooms in. So the background, you know, went out of focus to kind of, you know, really put the emphasis on the object you're inspecting. Okay. Then we hit E again. Oh, not sure what happened there. Hit E and it resets. All right. So pretty simple. You know, it adds that nice depth of field zooms in and out looks great all right so now um, what we might actually want to do is increase the trace length just because it's it's not really it's not very far um, far out to be able to um, inspect with the object so it's not really I don't know I don't like it so I'm gonna change this to something like 500 just so we can reach it from farther away and there we go and so now since we're using that trace length value we never have um, since we're using it over here at the for the focal region, we never have to worry about um, any kind of weird focus issues. Like if it, you know, if we suddenly change the distance that we want to be able to inspect, right? We don't have to worry about um, if it'll cut the object out for a little bit. Because, for example, say our trace length is at 500, but we only had this hard coded to like 250, right? If we go ahead and inspect it from here, oops, you see for a second there it was kind of blurred out. So. That's why we use that trace length value. All right. So anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you like it, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.